Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing kind of a longer video because I kind of have to explain what number 93's effect is for those of you who don't know, so um, for you, those of you who do, you can skip ahead a little bit, you won't be missing too much. Um, so number 93 is a light warrior, rank 12, 0.5 attack, 2,000 defense, who gets summoned when you have two uh, number XYZ monsters with uh, materials on underneath them that have the same rank and then his effect is once per turn you can special summon a number of rank 9 or lower number monsters with free out an attack or less from your extra deck um, equal to the uh, number of materials he have with different names and then the cast of material um, their effects are negated any battle damage your opponent takes is half so yes, that means it is impossible to OTK unless your opponent takes some damage prior or you do some effect damage. Also, you cannot summon for the rest of the turn. Um, his other effect is this card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effect. So long as you uh, control another XYZ monster, I mean a number XYZ monster, which basically you're going to have another XYZ if you get its effect off. So let's go into the deck profile. Uh, free exit the ultimate forbidden lord this card is actually how we will get into our co our uh, one card one xyz summoning him combo which i'll explain later on towards the end of the video but right now he's actually what we use free up we also use him to shuffle cards back into our uh, extra deck since we do have to kind of run on a tight space and not as many ring fours as we would like um, two Herald of Creation, this is kind of just uh, get back our Exodus when we're going to uh, mill him with Foolish Burial or another card just to kind of speed up the deck a little bit. Two Summoner Monks, um, again, this just kind of speeds up the deck, get, helps us get our XYZs out as fast as possible. Um, three Dragon Veins, Magicians, pretty important in the deck. He makes our rank one scale. Kind of let it go into our, a lot of our combos pretty easy. Um, our Dragon's Lair Magician. This is kind of who we're going to summon with Inside Magician. Um, you kind of have to run one of them. Um, free Inside Magicians. Really helpful in thinning out the deck and making the car, the this deck as fast as it possibly needs to be. So really great. Um, two Synthesis Magicians. Um, this is actually what you use to get your combo off with the Exodus, which you guys probably understand when I get into later, or you already know just by explaining those two cards. But anyway, Synthesis is how we get into that combo. Um, you don't really use this card for its scale because you have to control less cards, and with this deck, you're maintaining such an advantage that almost never happens. Not during any of the times I was testing, at least. Um, free performer power, uh, skull, skull or back joker. I don't know how you say that. Konami, uh, logic. Um, this guy, you actually will use both of them. Um, his rank, his pendulum scale is actually really great for you guys. You also, when you normal summon him, he's one of the better, um, card for inside. So easy two cards. Foolish burial. Um, just kind of speeds up the deck with getting certain cards you need in the graveyard for Exodus and stuff. 2-7-1, uh, pretty uh, standard when we can go into a few uh, over 100 Chaos XYGs and Summoner Monks. 1-Agent um, Force, this actually lets it go into a lot of fun and tricky plays by using... Um, the uh, 93 once we get a monster out and we have tons of monsters to play with it then um, to uh, Astro Force again this is the card that helps us get into the combo two pendulum calls kind of speeds up the deck helps us get that pendulum scale we need so we can actually summon out four monsters real easy three wonder ones again for speeding up the deck purposes um, then we have three forbidden lances um, this is the protect number 93 because we're only playing the one. I tried it at two. One is all you need. Um, skill prisoner. Again, we do not want to get removed or banished. So having these two cards in there are basically to protect number 93 at all costs. Two number walls. Um, 
I just kind of like playing this. It's my own test, but you could do an upstart goblin if you want. Um, it's nice because all your monsters are numbers anyway, so it just like puts your opponent in a bad position. Um, two XYZs reborn. This card kind of important because it lets us do some revival and uh, just helps us play number 93 a little bit easier in some bad situations where our numbers get destroyed and we can only get out one at a time. So for our extra deck, we got number 107, Tachyon. Pretty powerful. Love this monster. Uh, number 30, um, number 85. Now all of our monsters effects are negated, so don't, that's why we are running those two. And free down attack points, so we kind of need the damage. Um, you do sometimes use number 85 at that rank 4 scale, but not very often. Number C, 101. Now I was thinking about uh, number C, 104, but... Um, the 200 points was not telling me it was as great at using getting his effect off and making my opponent have to work to remove it. Um, number C, 73. Um, you can summon him both by number 93 and Agent Force, so he's pretty good both ways there. Number 46, because um, how we're playing this deck, as a figure freeze out in defense and attack was great. 101. Um, we're playing, now we're getting to the rank fours that are our defensive monster, number 82. Number 39, 39 is actually super important because this is how we get into our combo that we need to summon number 93 with only one XYZ. Number C, 39, Utopia Ray, pretty good. Um, S, 39, Utopia the Lightning. He's, uh, basically another option if we cannot go into number 93 as easy. Um, C, 107. Powerful monster to summon with a 7-1, so obvious. Why not take advantage of that, of course, right? I mean, I would. You guys probably would, too. Um, number 39, Utopia Beyond. He's also another monster we can summon. We're mostly going to summon him with number 93 effect, but sometimes he's good to go into for some weird situations that do happen. Number 99, um, pretty great. Um, you can summon them by using number 39 when you discard a rank of magic. So it does actually come in handy having these uh, monsters. You can level uh, rank evolve to a stronger form once your opponent waits a turn because they couldn't destroy all four numbers in one turn. It's probably what's going to happen. Obviously, the proxy is just number 93. So. Let me go uh, explain the combo. This is going to be like a six card combo, even though the uh, six card will not uh, matter too much. Um, you're going to need Foolish Burial if you um, don't start off um, with the right cards. But um, mainly, these are the uh, five cards that how you're going to get into the play. You are able to do it some other ways, but. Um, Starting turn, this is basically the uh, cards you need. Is you do need the Foolish, so you need the Foolish. You're going to send, like, Dragon, Vein, Magician, or whatever to the graveyard. So we'll just put him over there for graveyard. Now we do Pendulum Call, where we just discard. Yeah, you start out with a uh, monster, then you can just do that um, um, Pendulum card, Call, discard it. And it's a little easier to get off. Uh, now you're going to use... Uh, summoner, summon Summoner Monk, discard whatever spell card you have in your hand, and you're going to special summon any level 4 monster. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to use Herald of Creation as an example. Um, another, um, now, of course, you could have discarded uh, Exodus, then use uh, Herald of Creation, add them back, discard the insight. But then you rank up, rank into Utopia, summon. Uh, C39, then you're going to summon U uh, Exodus, then you use Synthesis to turn Utopia into a rank 10 monster because Exodus is a level 10 monster. And because of that, you are now able to play Rank Up Magic Astro Force, which ranks up a monster by uh, two levels. You c you're able to summon a XYZ that is two ranks higher and same type in attribute. And number 93 is a rank 12 light warrior, just as number 39 will be a rank 10 light warrior. So that's how you get into the combo. 
So, I hope you guys enjoy. Have fun playing with this deck. Have a great day. See you again. Bye.